Hi, you guys. I'm Mrs. G, and today I'm going to show you how to take a picture of your work. So let's say you had a math problem. I, I got a real complicated one there. And you want to upload it to Google Forms. I'm going to show you how you can do this using a Chromebook. So first, we're going to take a picture of this, and then we're going to go and upload it. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come down here where it says Launcher, and you're going to go ahead and click that. And then you might have camera right here. If you don't, you can go ahead and start typing it and you'll see it start to pop up. Go ahead and select the camera. You're going to see me pop up. Hi. Okay. And you're going to get your math problem or whatever you want to take a picture of to upload to Google Forms. And make sure though that you're near like a bright light, maybe a lamp. Maybe you um, walk outside and you're in the sun for a minute. You want to make sure that it's pretty bright. Okay. So you can get a good picture of it. Now, if you have photo, that's great. But if you even have square, that's even better because if you click this, it'll cut off the sides for you. And you might want to just report and like, like bring it up a little closer. Okay, the light looks good. We're going to go ahead and take a photo. Okay, so now what you want to do is you're going to see it show up down here. And you want to double click on that. The reason why we want to double click on it is because we want to rename this. So we want to make sure that we can find it. So go up here, click up here. Go ahead and delete that and name it whatever you want. So I'm going to name it math problem. You want something that's easy for you to remember. Then click off the side. Okay. And now if I move around, it actually says math problem. So now I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. You're going to go to your Google Forms. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the Google Form right here. Okay. And now it's going to say add file. And we want to go to uploads. Okay. Don't go to my drive. You want to go to uploads. So it says right here, you can even drag the file if you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and select files from our drive. So again, we're on uploads. I click right here and then you got to look for it and it's going to be in your files for most of you guys right here. If you click downloads, it's going to be right here. You can see because how that's what I named it as. If it's not right here, I would really suggest clicking on your recent because it's probably right there in your recent. These are all like the recent items up here. So you click on that and you'll probably find it up there as well. And if not, what's nice is, let's say if I wasn't sure there or if I did put it in my drive, okay, you can just click on your drive and you can actually just search the name. So if you weren't sure if you put it there, you can search math problems, okay, and then click enter and you should be able to pull it up. Same thing if I wasn't sure that if I put it in my files and I can't find it, you could search for it too, okay? So anyway, so there's a bunch of different ways to do it. You can click on any of these and search for it. But like I said, it should be in your downloads, which it is right here for me. So I go ahead and click it. I click open and you can see it's already putting it there and I can click upload and it's uploading it and now it's there. And I can go ahead and click on it and you can see there's my math problem right there. And I can go ahead and exit this part. Just be careful. Okay. And it's right there. So now I can go ahead and submit my form. Okay. Uh, thanks. If you like this video, go ahead and give a thumbs up. I appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye.